Okay, ladies. I'm going to show you how to use, make a bottle cap using the program GIMP. Um, go to File and Open. And there's my template. I'll leave a link in there for you to get your template where I got mine. Um, go to File, Open. I've already saved a few images that I want to use to show you. Go to Open. Go to this little circle right here. Click on that. And make your circle. Try not to go outside of the dotted lines of the top of your image. Because if you do, then your image will be cut off on the top. Um, right click. Edit. Copy. Click back on your template. Right click. Edit. Paste. And there's your image. Come over here to this screen. And it says floating selection. Right click on that. Go down to scale. And then this box will pop up. Unclick on these two chains right here. If you don't click on them, then your width and your height won't let you put the numbers that you need to in there. Um, 169 in both. I do 169, you can do 167. They're supposed to be 167, but I put 169 so that way my template circles don't show in the back. Just get your image and put it over your template circles. To lock your image in place, you're going to press Control Shift N. And right over here, it'll say Pasted Layer. If you want to do multiples of that pasted layer, right click, go down to duplicate layer, and I'm going to do that three times. Two, three. Go and click on this little tool right here, it's your move tool, and one, that one's not quite even, okay. And two, three. And then you want to press your shift or control shift in all at the same time. It'll ask you if you want to lock those in place as a layer. Yes. Okay. If you have another image that you want to put in there. Um, just go to file and open again, um, pick out whichever image you want and pretty much do the same thing, um, until, edit, copy, edit, paste. Scale your layers. Sixty-nine. Scale my layers. Come over here. Sorry. Control Shift N. And if you want to duplicate it, just duplicate those through there um, exit this one out in the back file Woo. export as and of course I don't want to name mine my template because you're then you'll lose your template I'm gonna name it um, I already have a Maleficent saved, so that's what I'm going to name this one. And then you make sure you save it as a JPEG.
you can either type in JPEG here or you can come down here and find your JPEG right there and you can click on that too and it still goes saves it as a JPEG um, and I'll just put go to export and this right here needs to be at a hundred percent go to export exit that out and to find it you just wherever you saved it you go and find it there oops that's not what I wanted right there mine is under my templates oh goodness there it is right there if you want it'll open up big and then just print it out if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.